Okay, I am continuing my tutorial on creating numerical calculations, and so we're going to create a numerical calculation today. Um, I, I'm breaking this into three kinds. Um, one is a time-based numerical calculation based on the forces. So I'm going to go kind of quick to set this up, and then I'm going to let you play with it. Um, but let's just, again, this is going to use this PyLab module right here. But let me show you this. This is the fundamental idea in a numerical calculation. If I know the, this is just in one dimension, if I know the velocity, and I define that as a change in x over change in time, really it's a derivative. But for a small time interval delta t, I can say this is approximately true. So the change in x or the change in time is the velocity. I can use that and solve for, I can find the final x is the initial x plus v times delta t. I can do the same thing for acceleration. Okay, or, or momentum or forces or whatever. Anytime I have a derivative, no matter if that deriv that value is constant, if I'm dropping a ball, V is not constant. But in the short time interval, it's constant enough. Okay, so this is the idea that I can take a new value from the old value plus the derivative times the change, delta T in this case. <clears throat> Let's do it for projectile motion. Okay. So I'm going to start off with some variables. Now again, this is in one dimension. Okay, so I'm going to say uh, g equals 9.8. I need to start off with the initial conditions and some constants. So I'm going to throw a ball up from the ground with a velocity of, let's say, uh, 4.3 meters per second. And that's my initial velocity, and the initial height is zero. And the initial time is zero. And the time step, I'm going to say is 0.01. Okay, that's, that's all I need now. Well, okay, I need two things. I'm going to write these down. YP equals, oops, TP equals. So in order to make a graph, if you looked at my tutorial on graphing, to make a graph, we need these lists of values. And so I'm going to accumulate lists as I calculate things, and then at the end, I can plot them. So let's throw this ball up and, and look at the motion as it goes up and comes back down. So I'm going to say while y greater than or equal to zero, I'm going to do the following. In Python, um, if I put a semicolon after this, and everything indented after the while is going to be part of the loop. So what do I want to do? I want to first, I know that there's an acceleration of negative g, so I want to calculate the new velocity. Using that definition for velocity is or acceleration is the change in velocity over the change in time, I get this. Now, that might look weird because V is right here, V is right there. But this is not an algebraic equation. This is a computer statement and it says make the velocity equal to the what it was minus G times DT. Okay, so that's why these don't cancel. It's not an algebraic sign. It's a make sign. Make it so. Make it so. Okay, so now I calculate the velocity. I calculate the new position. And here you can see I did not, I assumed a constant velocity even though it's wrong. That's okay. That's okay because I have a short time interval. This is not the optimal numerical calculation. This is the easiest numerical calculation. Now I need to update the time. Now I need to do the plotting. I need to update my plot variables. So yp equals yp plus y. This appends the value that I have for the y under this list yp, which started off empty. Now the same thing for t. tp equals tp plus t. And I am finished, except for the plot. So if you recall, I can just say uh, tp versus yp and show. I'm not going to put all the other stuff and click run. Boom. That. How do we know that's right? Well, we would expect projectile motion. Okay. And we would expect this to be a parabola. We could do the same thing. Uh, we could. What if I put in here uh, the velocity? Okay. I, sh I should change that to something else, but I'm not going to. I should change this to VP, but. That's what we'd expect too. So it looks like it's working. Okay, so that's the first code. I'm going to give you some homework to go with this, 
um, so you can start working on this yourself.